Parliament has convened an informal meeting for all MPs on Thursday to deliberate on the High Court order stopping their monthly house allowances. MPs will also discuss the protracted TAFE with the Salaries and Remuneration Commission after the Lin Mengich led team demanded that the lawmakers reimburse the 1.2 million shillings they received last month in house allowances backdated to October last year. And as Francis Gashuri now reports, SRC's budget is facing a 104.6 million shillings slash in the 2019-2020 financial year. The Salaries and Remuneration Commission is in Parliament's crosshairs over a house allowance standoff. Parliamentarians in the two chambers of the August House ganging up to flex their legislative muscle after SRC secured a High Court order stopping the payment of 250,000 shillings to each member in house allowances. Honourable members, I wish to invite you to a speaker's Kamukunji to be held on Thursday, June 6th. The Kamukunji is intended to provide an opportunity for briefing of members and discuss the progress of the ongoing disputes between the Salaries and Remuneration Commission and the Parliamentary Service Commission. Other than stopping the House Allowance payment, SRC also wants each of the 349 members of the National Assembly and 67 senators compelled to pay back the 1.25 million shillings they received last month in allowances backdated to October last year. The Parliamentary Service Commission relying on a ruling by High Court Judge Chachamwita to effect the pay. So their action is unconstitutional. They do not have the mandate to do that. It is only SRC that is manda mandated by the Constitution to set and review salaries and remuneration for state officers. I think uh, SRC has, um, has I think a beef with the members of parliament because I think members of parliament have become an, an easy punching bag because they can want to tell you and tell Kenyans SR, the same same SRC secretary allowed speakers of county assemblies to be paid house allowances. We know it is happening. And SRC also okayed secretly just before the judgment was delivered, the deputy governors to be paid house allowances. Parliament using the budget making process to hit back at SRC, the Commission's budget request in the 2019-2020 financial year slashed by 104.6 million shillings in the estimates tabled in the House today by Budget Committee Chairman Kimani Shongwa. Among the asked budget items include domestic travel and other transport costs, printing and advertising, as well as rent for extra office space. The Commission's training expenses will be reduced by 9.87 million shillings and the hospital budget slashed by 16.2 million shillings if the estimates are approved by the house other operating costs including membership fees subscriptions to professional and trade bodies and legal fees will be reduced by 17 million shillings routine maintenance budget of 9.57 million shillings has also been slashed SRC is also likely to lose 99 million shillings it has sought in the 2018-2019 supplementary budget. This amount was meant for purchase of commissioners motor vehicles. However, the budget committee insists SRC should lease motor vehicles as part of cost-cutting measures. Francis Gashuri, Citizen TV.